Hello and welcome to this video on one of the less glamorous and interesting but essential elements of distilling, cleaning your pot still. Most people pay very close attention to their brewing. They'll be very attentive to their still during the first few runs while they get used to its quirks. They may even be suitably wary of bottling and carbonating. Very little thought will be given to how they should clean the still after use. Cleaning is important. While yes, you are moving a reasonably large concentration of alcohol through your still, you are also moving what could be best described as a sugar-rich solution too. Not all this sugar finds its way into your distillate, but it is deposited in the still column or line arm. Sugar is a very attractive bacteria, and fungi as a food source. Cleaning it is important to remove this material, but you also want to clean it properly. Doing it wrong can damage your still, or worse, lead to contamination of your distillate. No one wants whiskey, schnapps or moonshine that tastes like soap, unless coriander is your thing. There are a few options commonly used with a pot still. The first is simply to create a sacrificial run from your heads and tails. This very simply involves adding the mixture of undesirable alcohols to your still, turning it on and running the heads and tails through. This will dissolve any unwanted material through the ability of most alcohol to dissolve things of most descriptions eventually. The next option is a bit less desirable but viable. A vinegar run. The slightly acidic nature of vinegar will, for lack of a better word, melt anything nasty in your still and flush it out. You can begin by pouring some through the still condenser unit. Repeat this until it runs clear. If you use a filter cloth or coffee filter, you can recycle the used vinegar several times. Another approach is to add this to the still boiler, run it through the condenser just like your normal distillation process, and extract anything that way. This is particularly useful if you have stubborn material that does not want to come out. If you're going to do that, it's suggested that you should leave some vinegar to soak into the line armor condenser unit for a few minutes, flush this out, and then run it. No matter which of these options you choose, you then need to rinse with hot water. This will remove the remaining heads and tails, or vinegar. That ensures that your still is protected. It's important to remember with your still not to use bleach, detergents, or salts. All of these can create a lot of problems for you in very short order. Bleach will turn into chlorine gas when heated, and you will not remove all of it when used. And this will generate a danger for you and anyone in proximity of the still. It can also cause damage to the copper or stainless steel of your still. It can create physical weaknesses, locations for debris to catch in, or for distillates to pull and possibly catch fire. This means your own harm's way, your equipment will be damaged, and ultimately any work you go to in cleaning it will be undone or for naught. Detergent can strip your copper, become deposited, or otherwise damage the still. This can lead to damage similar to bleach deposits that taint every distilling run for a long time afterwards. Salt is the final thing not to use. Salt and copper will react. It can also react to stainless steel. In both cases, it can cause tarnish, and with copper, in extreme cases, it can start to strip away or remove large sections. This owes to the sodium and chloride in the salt disassociating and interacting with the metal ions. Hopefully this information will help you both in one of the most boring parts of distilling, but also prevent it from becoming one of the most unexpectedly exciting parts of distilling. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it interesting, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions that you have below.